In this video, I'm gonna give you five quick tips that should help improve your experience in Red Dead Online. You may or may not know some of these, but if you found any tips from your own experience of Red Dead, then let me know. In future episodes of this series, I'll include the best of your suggestions and of course, give you the credit, so let me know. So let's start with tip number one blowing the fuck out of fish. When you're out there in the wilderness hunting, you'll often find yourself riding past a body of water with a load of fish just swimming there, minding their own business. Well, these little lads are just XP waiting to happen. Pull out a stick of dynamite and throw it right in the middle of the most densely populated area of the water. You'll know where the most fish are by the bubbles in the water that you can see on the surface. A lot of people used to go out of their way to buy dynamite, blow up fish, then rinse and repeat the two animals with one explosion challenges. Well, if you do this just while you're on your travels, you'll notice a nice little boost to your XP as well as a few gold nuggets for resetting the award. Tip number two, easy daily challenges. A lot of people bypass their daily challenges and don't even bother checking them when they come online. But if you do this, then you're missing out on a good opportunity to earn some XP and some fractions of gold bars. Often one of the seven daily challenges is very easy. In the clip on screen now, you'll notice the challenge I'm going for is to sell in five feathers to the butcher, which I already had in my satchel anyway, so that was very easy for me. That's 200 XP and a fifth of a gold bar, and it's as easy as that. Often one of the daily challenges is even easier than that. In the past, we've had challenges like consume tobacco products, which is you can just normally do standing right there on the spot just chain smoke your way through a whole pack of cigarettes we also had consuming tins of food not only do you get a little xp and gold boost doing this but you also contribute to your daily challenge streak which will lead to a treasure map if kept up tip number three whistling while skinning this tip is very simple while you're out hunting and you're skinning or plucking a kill you've just made then you can whistle for your horse despite it being soundless for some reason, your character doesn't actually make the whistle sound effect when you're skinning. And when I first did this, I just assumed that the horse wouldn't come to you if there's no sound effect. Well, as you can see and hear in this clip, I press up on the D-pad to call my horse and she comes running. So as it turns out, it's clearly more of a telepathic connection that you've got with your horse than the sound of a whistle. Tip number four, defensive mode when hunting. Following Rockstar introducing the two play styles, defensive and offensive, it's made hunting in Red Dead Online so much less stressful than it was before. There's no longer the worry of having some jumped up little knobhead shooting you in the nut while you're riding back to the butcher with a full cargo of animal parts. Just head into the options via the left arrow, scroll to online options, then you'll find at the bottom you can change your play to defensive as long as you've been well behaved and your hostility is low. Keep in mind though, this won't automatically stay on each time you enter a lobby, so when you enter a new game, make sure you switch this playstyle on if you want to avoid the griefers. Tip number five, ability cards for hunting. Now for anyone familiar with my channel, you might have seen that I did a video on this going in depth on ability cards for hunting. A lot of people naturally default to thinking that ability cards are only useful for PvP. Well, this isn't the case. You can swap them around to make your shots far more likely to be kill shots on the first attempt, which is obviously crucial for keeping those perfect carcasses and ultimately getting the most amount of money possible from a hunting trip. The link to the video that goes into detail on this topic is in the description below and on the end screen here. So these tips aren't the most revolutionary you'll ever hear, but I hope that they help some of you out nonetheless. And as I said at the start of the video, if you've got any good tips of your own for Red Dead Online, then let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.